This is Valerie. She was five years old when she received chemotherapy. Valerie would receive chemotherapy treatments here, at the Clinica Medical Duarte, in the small border city of Cucuta, in Colombia. On January 23, 2020, doctors at the clinic gave Valerie a dose of methotrexate, a drug used to treat cancer. Less than 24 hours later, she was back in the hospital. Days later, she was dead. The drug Valerie was given, methotrexate, was made by Naprod Life Sciences, a manufacturer headquartered in India, a country that supplies 20% of the world's generic drugs. But instead of being sterile, the medicine was contaminated with bacteria and had become dangerous. In a months-long investigation, we learned this wasn't an isolated incident. Naprod's medicines have been linked to dire quality issues with almost zero consequences. This is a story of a drug maker with a dangerous track record and how it keeps selling medicine, leaving families and doctors to suffer the consequences. Methotrexate is a drug used to treat leukemia and other cancers, and has been around for decades. When given as an injection, the conditions in which the drug is made are always supposed to be sterile. If the raw ingredients aren't tested adequately, if a production line isn't cleaned properly, if the water isn't filtered thoroughly, the life-saving medicine could become potentially lethal. Naprod Life Sciences plays a crucial, if sometimes unnoticed, role in the world's drug supply chain. None of its medicines are for sale in the U.S. Instead, it mostly sells directly to suppliers in low-income countries. Batches of the cancer drug methotrexate, made here in 2018 and 2019, were sent to clinics in Colombia. Later, Colombian drug regulators confirmed that a dangerous bacteria was found in the drug. Doctors suspected more than 100 patients had suffered reactions linked to the contaminated medicine. A total of four kids died, and the drug was later recalled. My colleague Priyanka Pula looked into Naprod's operations in India. This is a plant that makes many low-cost cancer generics for big brand names such as Intas, Dr. Reddy's, and Abbott. Former employees of Naprod whom we spoke to told us that the quality control in this company was not up to the mark and was neglected greatly. The former quality control employee spoke to us on condition of anonymity. He was asked to hurry through quality tests Seniors used to see us sometimes just skip that part and complete that work. What did you think when you heard about this uh, pseudomonas contamination in Colombia uh, coming from Naprod's products? It is found in the seal while it is definitely coming from the company, it is not coming from anywhere else. The damage can never be reversed, it is that lethal. Indian regulators have frequently failed to detect and clamp down on really dangerous quality issues. Maharashtra FDA is trying their best to get a good quality medicine to people around the world, not only in India. Though we don't have any sufficient staff, we are trying, we are working very hard. And they have corrected their problems. They told that we already rectified. It was a minor problem in Colombia. They have asked and they have already taken the action. They have investigated. State governments are very eager to attract the pharmaceutical industry and to get them to set up their manufacturing plants because it helps them generate revenue and jobs. And the state regulators are directly under these state governments. 
The state drug regulators are not very well staffed, they are underfunded. If you put these two things together, it's a very dangerous cocktail because this means that India's huge manufacturing industry doesn't get as much oversight as it needs. This wasn't the first time quality issues were found at Naprod. In India, three separate batches of its cancer drugs failed quality tests in 2017 and 2018. In Ethiopia, researchers tested multiple samples of its chemo drug and found only half the stated active ingredient. Yet the company has not faced any serious consequences from regulators, the big pharmaceutical companies buying Naprod's products, or public health warnings from the World Health Organization. Naprod declined to comment on Valerie's case or other cases in Colombia, citing ongoing legal proceedings. The company said it has responded appropriately to quality concerns raised by regulators and makes high quality products. La niña no aguanta el dolor en la columna, no aguantaba la, el vómito, el dolor de cabeza. Me queda así como un dolor grande de, de no haber podido hacer más por ella. Y de lo que ella se despidió cuando ella me dice, no, ya no aguanto más, mami, ya. Y, y no, me tomó de las manos y se, se desprendió. Ya, ya sentí ahí que se me fue en ese momento. Fue las últimas palabras que me dijo. So who is to blame for Valerie's death? And how can people in low-income countries ensure their drugs are safe? Despite its track record, Naprod continued selling medicines around the world, cashing in on growing markets for generic cancer drugs. And Valerie's case is stuck in the labyrinth of Colombian government bureaucracy. The Attorney General's office received Valerie's autopsy report four years ago. It has listed her cause of death as under study. In the years that have passed, there have been few signs of progress in the probe. In recent months, the Attorney General's office has started interviewing families and others involved. But 2,500 miles away, a researcher in the U.S. is trying to perfect a test to help detect bad quality drugs before they reach patients. The market for chemotherapy products is increasing, and it's increasing in locations where often the regulatory agencies are under-resourced, particularly for analysis of highly toxic chemotherapy products. And so it's a very risky situation right now. The paper test her team developed is a field lab kit run on a sample of medicine, testing for the amount of active ingredient. It costs as little as $2 and can be done easily by a nurse using a cell phone. And these are a field screening device that you can use to check a medicine quickly and see if it looks good or if it looks suspicious. Nearly four years after Valerie's death, Naprod continues to sell its drugs to customers around the world. O sea, yo como la mamá de la niña, este sufrimiento es muy grande y yo sé que no solamente soy yo la que estoy pasando por esto. Sé que hay más padres que están sufriendo porque este vacío es muy fuerte, o sea, de la pérdida. O sea, para mí, o sea, sería importante que, o sea, no, no pasara más, o sea, que no, no tuvieran que otro padre sufrir.